What's up, beautiful people? I am back with another video, and this time I am discussing what I've studied for the medical billing and coding exam, which was the CDCS exam. I've taken that exam back in November, so I'm going to try and be very thorough, but brief at the same time, with everything that I studied, um, and what I studied would help me pass. So I want to just put a disclaimer out there, what I very, really found helpful so what i did during the class was i took notes in the notes section of the um of each book so each book has a note section um in case some people didn't know it has a note section and the note section has really helped a lot when taking notes so, and keeping me um, accountable and organized so everything is all in one place. So when it's time to take the exam, the only thing that you have with you are your books. Um, so for example, in my CPT book, um, this is one of the pages that I have right here that I found helpful. When um, during the class, I will take notes, and here's the other page. So this is this is an example. Um, so my instructor, uh, she was really, really, really adamant on us using the note section of our books. Because um, what's the point of having this note section that whoever published these books? they gave it to us for a reason so I just want to put that disclaimer out so and when you're taking the exam you have your books with you so and you're going to need your books with you to take the exam so that was that was one thing another thing that I found helpful too is also in the CP CPT book was um let's see if I can find it. What was also helpful was knowing like your modifiers of course. So actually placing a sticky notes um to get to the modifiers page faster because we're gonna need to get there faster when we're working. Um, and also having the, and this is in the CPT book, this is the prefix, prefixes, suffixes, and roots page for some of them, not all of them, but that is in there. So this was very common seeing these on the exam. So paying attention to that was, um, very key. Um, also, knowing about the body planes was also important too. This is also in the CPT book. So it's not like you have to um, take any notes for this because they've already done the note taking for us. But um, during class, if you need to take additional notes, do that on this page. Again, more notes page so the notes page is not just in the back it's also in the front so a couple things that i found very helpful for me when i was in this um taking the course um was knowing like the birthday rule that was very important knowing what pathology is the study of diseases but I've also written right here. So when we did try, um, touch bases on study um, of diseases, pathology, I wrote that down. So I found that helpful when I was doing my homework. Uh, also found it helpful was um, the list of CPT modifiers first. So the CBT and the hit picks. Um, knowing that and then also knowing the bodily functions so such as like thyroid the thyroid controls 
um, the rate that the body uses energy. So that's dealing with hormones. So that was also important for me to know and that I found helpful. Uh, another thing that I found helpful as well was um, when I was taking the exam, I kind of struggled a little bit. I'm not going to sit here and lie that I didn't, but I did struggle. So for example, um, right here, I'm on the page, still in the CPT book, dealing with the eye and ocular, uh, um, Denexa, I guess that's how you pronounce it. So if it was something dealing with, um, I, I, I was using a lot of context clues and that's what you're gonna have to do. Use a lot of context clues. Um, for that so it was dealing with the eye and dealing with like a deep cut what is a deep cut that's a laceration right so using the context clues for that to find the code the CPT code for that procedure um, I also used the index to like the back of the book of this book to find a lot of um things so what I with what I was doing I don't know what exam or practice exams I was taking and I wish I would have written them down but I found those doing those were very helpful as well um, I'm gonna go through a list of um, other things I found helpful for me to, uh, And I have to be very vague because I, I can't sit here and tell you guys what exactly what was on the test. But I'm going to sit here and tell you guys what I found helpful to help me um, that was during my studies and my practice. Um, so the billing and coding specialist should first divide the evaluation and management code by which the following in the place of service. I thought that was important. So knowing what a privacy officer is, um, they're compliant with HIPAA, um, knowing that the provider is responsible for writing off the difference between the amount bill and the amount allowed. That was also important. Uh, what should the billing and coding specialist complete to reimburse the provider services? That's a CMS 1500, that was important. Um, what actions should be taken first when receiving a delinquent claim is verifying the age of the account. That was also important. Um, I, um, I'm going to put in there, throw in there too that I know when I was taking an exam, I used up the entire time. I'm not gonna, I'm, I used up the entire time and I went back and double checked my answers to make sure I was confident in my answer. If I was not confident in my answer, I marked which ones I was not confident in and I made sure I had enough time to go back and thoroughly know and to see if I can find the answer in the book. Like, <laughs> everything's in the book, I'm telling you. Um, the only thing that you're really not gonna find is knowing how to find the correct codes for either the hit picks, the ICD, um, ICD um, or the CPT. But knowing like the terms, knowing term, um, stuff like that is in the book. And it's also in your notes, when you're reviewing your notes, it's also in that section. Um, so I'm gonna reference the hit picks um, book um, so what I found that was very helpful as well in the HitPix book, this book right here, was knowing, and this is on the introduction. So there was a practice question that I came across and I was like, well, I might find this helpful if I remember this. So it was a practice question. Um, wanted to know what the HitPix um, proceeding procedure coding system was. 
and that is the code and descriptors that represent procedures, suppliers, products, and services that may provide to Medicare beneficiaries and individuals enrolled in private health care insurance programs. That was important for me. Another thing that was important was how often does HitPix update their information? Primarily updates are made annually. Quarterly updates are also issued by CMS. Those two things were very important to me because I've never seen this information before. And if they're telling me that this, you know, is in the book, let me let me know when things were made. When 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 do things happen annually or quarterly? Um, evaluation, reevaluation, to update their um, system. That was that was very important. Um. Uh, Let's see. Another thing I found helpful too was like the index. Um, of course, in all the books, I'm pretty sure your instructors told you that. Um, by no means, this is, I'm not telling people what's on the test. This is what I found helpful. This is what I studied. Um, so, I'm still in the Hit Picks book, and these are my notes that I studied and we're using and taking along our hip hips book with us. So another thing that I found really helpful was knowing what NC knowing what the NCCI is. The NCCI hold. What is that, right? What is that? I'm gonna put that on here so you guys know what that is. Um Knowing um, the different Medicare's like Medicare A, B, C, and D, knowing which ones are which was also important. Um, predetermination, pre-approval, pre-certification, um, benefit verification, internal revenue, and readmittance advice. I found these things were very important to me. Knowing what a fee schedule is was also important to me. Um, also, let's see. So, looking at in the CPT book or in the, um, I, I think in the ICD, ICD book two, they have down here, knowing what that information is so let's say for example it says c also in cbt what does that mean right that was also important so this exam was just learning how to use all these books and preparing us for this workforce um knowing that the hit picks is inpatient um that was important so one thing I can recall when I was taking the practice exam was like knowing what 99205 is. So new patient um, is seen for 60 to 74 minutes, right? <laughs> um, knowing what 99215, um, for example, look, these are examples, knowing what that is. So I found that very helpful. Um, Knowing the, um, it was what I written down in my notes when my teacher was going over them. Knowing the math, um, so like 10% coin insurance plus paid is a hundred dollars. Um, and reward is $500 equals $400. So there's a math. So knowing those equations is also important too. I'm coming in and giving an example of something that I've been seeing every time I was taking the practice exams. So be mindful of Medicare uses like the 80%, 80, 20%. So 80% 
allowable. Um, just keep that in mind, which is about to pop up right now. Medicare pays 80% allowable. The example in March, Mrs. Halo has an illness that incurs $170 in medical bills. She asks you to bill Medicare. The PCP does not participate in Medicare and the program does not accept assignments. She has paid the deductible at another PCP office. So A asks if Medicare allows the entire amount of your fees, the Medicare check to the patient, the patient part of the bill to you is. And I'm gonna break down how I did the math. Like I said, knowing the prefixes, suffixes, and the roots, those are in your books, but I also, when my teacher was going over them, making notes in my books. Um, knowing what the combination code is, uh, knowing what the heading, subheader, subsection, knowing, identifying each one is important too. <laughs> agent reports EOB the account payable these are all things that I found that was important to me um, during the times that I was studying um, discussing with my teacher and taking the practice exam um, knowing what the dash 50 bilateral is that was also important um, I don't plan on making this video too long. I know, and, I, and I'm, I apologize for making this video too late. Um, but I also want to say congratulations to those that are making their way in, into those steps of taking the exam. You guys got this. You can do it. I believe that you can do it. Um, just take your time use up all the time that you have it's there for a reason and you have more than enough time use up the time that you have you have more than enough time to complete the exam they give us enough time to do this um, using your book everything is in the book um, I want to Let's see. So, there was Pamela and Crystal. Um, you two are the main ones that I know that are, are about to take the exam. Um, and these are things I study. I want to make sure that you guys know that I study, um, and I haven't found any part-time work. I'm not interested in finding part-time work right now. Um, maybe as a hobby, I'm hoping I can find something when it's time. Um, so far, I've just done the the um, the CEUs on the website. Um, mine are due till November, so that's what I've been doing. Um, I'm almost done with that. It doesn't, it doesn't take long at all. But I want to congratulate you guys for taking the step, finishing um, your exam or finishing your course and sign up for the exam. Y'all got this. We're mainly taking the practice exams for the codes, making sure that you know how to code and then doing the process of elimination of her thing flipping through the book to find which code so know which code does not work for which one so when i was taking the practice exams i seen that they all had the same letter uh don't let it trip you up too much um everything's in the book when you're in the class you're taking notes your notes are right there when you're taking notes so when it's time for you to take the exam, everything's in the book. 
so those are the things I found really helpful. I know it was short, um, but everything's in the book. So when I was taking notes, right? Insurance billing specialists, non-clinical medical staff is what we are. Um, knowing what our role is was also important too. The OCR enforces privacy and security rules with a DHHS. Know what OCR is, knowing what DHHS is was also important. Knowing what the national provider identif identifiers, unique identifiers. So that is billing specialist, healthcare organization, employer, health plan, patient. That was also important for me to write down. Um, knowing what the CMS 1500, um, what that entails, it ran in all caps, your date of birth, and it's eight digits, okay? Know that the diaphragm separates the thorac, thoracic and abdominal, abdominal cavity. So know what the diaphragm is. We're gonna go in our CPT book, right? And when you're taking your notes in your class, it's like, let me let me write this down because my teacher said it was important. <laughs> uh, but I feel like I'm, I'm prolonging this and I don't wanna, um, it's, it's not that hard. It's not, it's not tough at all. I promise y'all, it's really not. Um, you have your book. You have everything that your teacher has given you in your book and you wrote everything down in your notes section regarding in your book. So, and your book also gives the answers to questions you may have when you're practicing the exam. So, the hit fix also provides modifiers, which are two position codes and descriptors used to indicate a service that procedure has performed or altered. It's in the book. So, <laughs> when you guys are taking the practice exam, we have your book right there to help you. I promise. I promise. But those are things I found helpful. Um, I will say congratulations again. And when you guys take the exam, just let me know that you passed. I would love to know that you guys passed. Um, if you found a company to work for, that would be great too. Um, right now, I'm not looking for work at the moment. Um, I am occupied with two right now. So there's that, um, maybe sometime, and spend, I'm in school still, so, and I plan on going back to school next year too, so maybe I can sign, find something for a few months, um, up to a year, that'd be great up until it's time for me to go back to school, but I do graduate this summer, um, for one degree, and I'll be going back again next fall for another degree to start that process up, so, um, yes. But everything that you guys need is right there with you. 